Uh, Game the lead. Y'all stop, lost stop the donating lead. for a little bit. Actually, not a serious note. God damn it. But if, <laughs> but but if you a, want you wish to. wish on the Dragon Balls now. <laughs> oh, shoot. Only if you wish for boneless panties. What are we going to wish for? <laughs> Uh, is it boneless, boneless panties? panties? I hate. I I know what you mean by boneless panties, but boneless, saying boneless, boneless oh. panties. I'm saying boneless, dude. Oh. boneless panties. That's the actual. God. Coming You're soon right. to B Dubs. Try our new boneless uh, panties in our wait, sweet honey barbecue up? sauce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna forget boneless panties. In my, in my head, I was thinking. Wired uh, in my head. No, I don't were, know why. Were you thinking? Were you thinking about Bowman <laughs> panties, Zach? <laughs> and you misspoke. No, I was Stop. thinking of like bras with wires, and I was like, oh, if they don't have wires in them, they're boneless bras. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> no, because because some some bras have wires in them for support, but they're usually very uncomfortable, according to call people. The, and you would call. Yes. Bra like wire like a bralette. A you, would, you, would bra. <laughs> you would call a bra that had a wire a bone God, in bra. This is so stupid. So, so, do any, so do any you need a girl. Chat where boneless bras according to <laughs> that <laughs> weird ass definition. <laughs>
fire in the hole, <laughs> followed a few, a few seconds later by a large explosion. Okay. The explosion propelled a fist-sized rock through, from homeowner's backyard, across Nathan's backyard, and through the window, striking Nathan and causing a severe laceration on his forehead. Jesus fucking <laughs> A fist he just rock punched just punched in the just through his window. He, a, fizz, a rock in the shape of a fist just <laughs> punched him. In addition, the concussions and reverberations from the blast area also caused a large crack to appear in the foundation of William's home. Oh my god. Oh no. Esther, William, and Nathan all sued homeowner for damages, and each of them asserted claims based on strict liability in tort and trespass to land. Which uh-huh. claims are viable for each plaintiff? What, much e- what must each prove to maintain each claim? And what is the likely outcome of each, of each claim by each plaintiff? Well, he definitely oh, trespassed man. in Esther's place because he put the dynamite there, and she tripped and fell uh-huh. over it, which I believe, relating to the, the Kobe the Cobra question, he's liable for. The explosion going through, the, the, the rock going through Nathan's house and then also Nathan's head, uh, I feel like he's Is also liable for that. I feel like that's more like reckless endangerment. It's the weird thing where like it's his property showing up on your property. I don't know how that works. That is that is still considered trespass. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, you the throwing object, throwing objects and even things like sound waves can also can all be considered or like or you know, really bad smells can also can all be considered trespass in a way. Throwing sound okay. waves. Yeah. Interesting. Is that uh, is that the basis for noise complaints? Then yeah, I guess so. Uh yeah, it's a couple. Yeah, there's a couple things. Uh, uh, and then the, the last person just had like prop like property damage, right? To, yes. Like, their foundation. Um, uh-huh. I don't know if that counts as trespassing. What did I just say though? The oh. concussions and reverberations oh. from the blast. You know what, Bridge? You got me on that one. <laughs> yeah, that counts as trespassing. Yeah, that's what that's what this question's trying to ask. That's what, that's what the part of that question's trying to ask. Okay, Zach okay. just Zach just failed the bar. Yeah, I did. I I, I was so confident. <laughs> <laughs> Too confident. Mm-hmm. All right. So to to go through this fully, the first thing you have to know is there's a there's. Usually, when it comes down to liability, it has to be because you either acted negligently or intended to harm someone. You know, that's mm. kind of things that make you liable. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, but there is a theory of liability called strict liability, which basically means it does not require negligence or intent to harm. Just by sheer action of causing the harm, you can become liable. Mm. One theory of strict liability is called ultra-hazardous activity. <laughs> oh, which is an activity or process that presents an unavoidable risk of serious harm to other persons or their property, for which the actor may be held strictly liable for the harm, even if the actor has exercised reasonable care to prevent that harm. Okay. And guess what? And guess what falls under ultra hazardous activity? Explosion. Shit Using up. dynamite. <laughs> Using dynamite absolutely falls under ultra hazardous activity. I would imagine. I mean, so. come on, what is dynamite but a big firework? Come <laughs> on. Which is why the statement that homeowner took all possible precautions doesn't actually mean anything because this is an ultra hazardous. Because the theory that the theory that William and Nathan would sue under is ultra hazardous act is strict liability via ultra hazardous activity. Mm. And basically, they both win on that for the reasons we've sort of talked about. Um, it, really, doesn't matter, it doesn't matter that homeowner was careful. He was using dynamite. Sending a physical object like a rock is clearly trespass. And even the concussions and reverberations that cause damage also trespass. Hmm. I really hope that like his definition of precaution was he was about to press down the little plunger because this is obviously a Looney Tunes cartoon. Oh and yeah. Right <laughs> before he does. Imagine, just... Oh yeah. And right before he does, he's like, ah, safety first. And he puts on a little thing of goggles and then he, I'll just say the, the real plot twist is that homeowner is actually Michael Bay. 
and he was filming, just needlessly he was adding, trans- adding explosions to everything he can. He was filming uh-huh. Transformers Eight, Dark Side uh-huh. of the Last Night of a Transforming uh-huh. Moon, and he he cast the Anytown <laughs> Ohio crew as all the actors. <laughs> That's like, why that's why he gets so many bad actors in his movies. Yeah. Yeah, Kobe's Kobe's going to be the new Shia LaBeouf. I mean, I've watched that Transformers movie. I would oh, know. easily. Uh, uh and then obvi- and then obviously Esther's thing is much more simple. You put a box on the property line, she tripped on it. Mm. That don't, don't don't hide things on don't hide things when they cross his property lines. K- kind of much more simple and obvious. Yeah. So basically, so basically homeowners liable to everyone. For everything. There you okay. go. But don't, don't use what, the, just just use a shovel, my dude. Or or what get if, one of those or get one of those cat or like rent a cat ex- excavator or something. Right, right. What if he throws like a really rad pool party and invites them all over and is like, mean, oh, in we his all pond good. for aquatic plants and goldfish? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's re- exactly. really cool goldfish though. Yeah. They and he's like, tricks. are we all square? <laughs> oh my god. Somebody fess up to doing this. The Anytown, Ohio dynamite salesman has donated five dollars. This is for looking the other way, guys. Also, anybody want to buy some dynamite? I freaking love you. Whoever that was, really good. Uh, folks, we are thirty-seven minutes into the stream. We do have to get to the game, but there is actually an important thing that we are going to announce right here, right now. We have exactly two hundred viewers. Great time for this, folks. My fellow gentlemen, stand up. Hey folks, Zach from the future here to announce that we officially have Anytown Ohio merch. Designed by a member of the community Pantran, the Anytown Ohio logo is available on t-shirts coming in blue, black, and heather gray, as well as a microwave, washing machine, and cobra resistant coffee mug, and a notebook for writing down all your plans to commit arson on the competition. They're all available on etsy.com slash shop slash save data team, to which there is a link to down below in the episode description and the pinned comment and all the items ship internationally. Please let us know what you think about them in the comments down below, and if there are some other merch ideas you'd love to see, let us know. Thanks, and now, on with the gameplay. Nick? Yeah? Did you know that Von Karma's daughter is only 18? Just like me. Yeah... (laughs) Why? (laughs) Yeah, it makes some of the ships really weird. <laughs> I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, you are pretty I mean, small and weak. <laughs> <laughs> I think about just how, how strong she is. <laughs> <laughs> just how, the, how, how, her, how her arms and shoulder move when she whips that whip at people. God damn. <laughs> I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself, and she's so grown up. I mean, she grew up with somebody. It's not all this time, but probably the last six months, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me and, well... <laughs> I'm the daughter of the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the suspect in a murder trial. Again. Again. <laughs> um, but I think you're really strong too, Maya, for all you've gone through. Good morning. The two of you look like you're doing well today. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Read the room, Pearl. <laughs> hey, morning, Pearly. You'll be safe today, Mystic Maya. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Ooh, real bad news Uh, about that one, Curly. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Pearly. Hey, Pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? You Um, know your mom's a murderer, right? Do you think you could do me again? He's doing it again! Do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. 
I just I could really use the best the best uh, defense attorney around. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident enough without her help. You're such a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person you love. The person well, I sorry, love is dead. Well, sorry, but he's dead. dead. <laughs> Early, not this again. Please, can you do this for us, Pearls? Nick, can you it's stand not for your us, own... then just for me. Nick, can you stand your own damn legs? <laughs> stand your own two feet? Jesus. Um, <laughs> all right. I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two, I'll leave you two to your alone time. Pearl, you're eight years old. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and you apparently have never left the village before yesterday, but you certainly I... know how to ship people. Yeah, she wants a lot. Are of... you guys about to... Are you guys about to smash? Nice. God damn. <laughs> Whew. Thank goodness. Nick? This way. Pearls won't be able to see... Per this way. Pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What do you mean? Oh, wait. What's going on? Big Brain Phoenix. Oh my god, Phoenix. I apologize. I actually you being actually smart. You were actually being considerate and showing forethought. Yeah. Oh, all right, Nick. <laughs> I gotta give that one to you. That was well done. Uh, yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Maya Fay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Knight, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will be transmitted all over the world. What are we on fucking public broadcast courtroom? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what, NBC? All over the world, huh? Sounds like you've made quite a name for yourself, Phoenix. God, Mia, why? <laughs> Don't be foolish, you foolish fool. You foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh-huh. That's nice, Miss Von Karma. Got him. Damn. 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 <laughs> Solomon Tola says, Francisca, my beloved, take the last of my bits. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you're in such good spirits today, Miss Faye. Oh, oh she's got I think jokes. That person you're talking to some respect. Uh, <laughs> it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. That's why I don't date them. No. <laughs> now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. A game theory. <laughs> <laughs> That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the one and only key blade to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Remember, there's only one Keyblade Master at any time, except when they introduce like 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. All right, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined the fr that from the time of the murder to the time of arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? <clears throat> but, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying, then, that the person in this picture is not the defendant? I never said that wasn't the defendant. Th then, what is the meaning of this? All I am saying is that Maya Fay, after killing the victim, exited the room. And I believe that is when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate your claim? No. <laughs> Isn't that what I'm here for? 
The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt. Morgan Fay to the stand. Also known as Murderer Morgan. <laughs> Just as I suspected, Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia. She seems really torn by this. Witness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in a manner of speaking. I'm sorry, but what do you mean, in a manner of speaking? I don't think anyone really cares. <laughs> now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. I performed the spirit severing technique on Mystic Maya then. Spirit severing technique? Yeah, it's a judo chop to the back of the neck. <laughs> Technique to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is... Yes? That is... <laughs> you, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you're performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have... Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of the matter. Maya Fey, while in, possess while in a possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. That's, that's a bad lie. Order! 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 Miss Fay, please testify to this court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ante on this trial. Well, gotta call their bluff. Uh, it was my uh, bluff. <sighs> After we heard the gunshots, those two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please contact the police. Mr. Wright and that fish contact the police. I was going to say, she's already committed perjury. There was no other person. There was just a fish. <laughs> perjury. Done. Yep. Case over. Pistol was hanging from Mystic Maya's hand, and she was in a day. Then, quite suddenly, she thrusted me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. Oh, so it is a judo chop to the neck. Wow, You're okay. right, Zach. <laughs> I was joking. I'm, a judo chop. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. <laughs> just, he's just like, fuck. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, multiple people in the chat are saying... Uh, Aunt Morgan Fay has upped the ante. This ante has upped the ante. Nice. <laughs> Why have you hidden this until now? I I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. Except also, that I did, you did. it. Ah, oh, damn it. However, I must correct falsities when they are That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making it a point to take to take a stab at me? <sighs> Never mind. More like take a whip. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Mr. not a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. My aunt is very smart, is a very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to find a crack in her testimony. Although she occasionally openly monologues her evil motivations in an yeah. open room. If we can catch her in an evil monologue, we <laughs> might just get through this. <laughs> uh, okay, we broke down the door. Yeah, I request that Mr. Rainier uh, contact please. the police. That's true. Pistol was hanging from her hand and she was in a daze. I feel like that's the first thing we can kind of press. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know you can probably press everything from here on out. Yeah. 
This one I don't think is going to be useful because that's still kind of true, but I'd say start pressing from here. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused Maya to lose consciousness. Do you stand by this statement? Why is he asking this here? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave you was a lie. What? It's a lie! Hey, no, that's wrong! But why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however... Objection! Ow! Oh, thank you. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was... covering for Maya? Uh, question further, because... Why not? Why not? So you were covering for the defendant? Yes, that's literally what I just said. <laughs> well, yes, it was only later that I was informed of what had occurred. That the renegade Mystic Maya had done something very unexpected. I mean, you saw the dead body in there, so... <laughs> something unexpected? What, pray tell, did she... Whipping coming, yep. Yeah. <laughs> This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was, there is always later. What? Y yes very well. Uh, what does it suddenly feel like there's a rock in the pit of my stomach? That's the kidney That's stones. right, I ate a rock earlier. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> now, witness, continue with what happened. She thrusted me away. Witness, could you please not use the word thrust? It's really weird in this context. <laughs> Any other word, Witness. please. <laughs> Judge, I order that Morgan be in contempt and sent to Horny Jail. <laughs> Was it really that easy for you? Was it really that easy for her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing. However, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. Have you seen her? She's so short and frail and <laughs> shitty. There is no way she could have easily. Or, there's no way she could have escaped from you so easily. Objection! You've forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Light. What about this picture? Okay, but like Eeny Miney isn't that much bigger than fucking. <laughs> Maya. Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically Maya Fey. Uh. Growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know firsthand. Shut up, Boomer. <laughs> Basically, Mystic Maya's body was still that of the nurse she had called. But if she had run away... Wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have. However... <laughs> she performed the spirit channel severing technique on me. You fainted. <laughs> I became dizzy and then collapsed onto the floor. How long were you unconscious? I... I'm not sure. About ten minutes, perhaps? Were we away from the room forever ten minutes at any point in time? I can't imagine it was more than that. <laughs> mm. It's like, Lana took the pictures, then we called the police, but like, it's not like we sat there and had to come a cup of coffee then. Right. And the defendant almost certainly went somewhere in that time. Happy? Witness, elaborate on that point for us. Uh, Hoagie One Cannoli just cheered 250 bits, saying, Secretly Maya is wearing... God damn it. Secretly Maya is wearing boneless panties, and that is how she beat Morgan. God. <laughs> I, hate, uh, I hate that I said that. Oh, it's my favorite joke yeah, of the day. Yeah, I kind of do too, actually. <laughs> is that because you were unconscious? What do you think, Phoenix? Why... Yes. Great. Well, now what? 
Question further, because we haven't gotten anything we can go off of yet. So, while you were unconscious, you absolutely have no idea where the defendant went. That's kind of what being unconscious means, so I would think that's obvious, good sir. If that's true, then how can you know for sure that the defendant left the channeling chamber at all? Left the room. What was that room called again? Yeah. <laughs> left the room now with that, no name. Now that you mention it, I have to wonder myself. It's true that this witness is not able to confirm this. But the key word here is this witness. What do you mean by that? I call the key to the stand. <gasps> it means she has another witness up her sleeve. That's what. It looks like Miss Von Karma is ready, to, is ready to move on to her next witness. I can't see a crack in her testimony. Except that it's complete uh, bullshit. I can see a crack in your chest. Well, it's gonna hold you. I've called cleavage, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do? For now, we should try and get more information out of her. After we get more information from her, we may be able to use it later to our advantage. Uh, I guess just press the other two statements, huh? Yeah. Just now, you said, quote, those two. Who were those two people you, you were referring to? He's done this again. I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good sir. Now this good sir, uh, did he look like he worked out? Uh, <laughs> out of ten. Uh, I mean, at least a seven, right? Come uh, on. Work with me here. <laughs> Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she She's talks. She's a fish. It's really funny. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I simply could not un could not understand her atrocious English, not to mention she looked awful. I can already see people in the heartland gearing up for a riot. Oh no. Oh shit. Can't make that joke in, in any, 2021. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, Mr. Wright. And I already sent it to to, to my boyfriend. <laughs> but he's dead, so <laughs> shit. And Hoagie One can only choose another 100 bits saying, Boneless panties for Smash, and there's, god damn it, and their signature move is Thrust. This is uh, just, you know what? We unveiled shirts today, but I think next week we're gonna unveil. It's, it's Boneless panties. <laughs> Jesus, stop. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, god, it's too good. Oh, uh, Thanks. Hmm. What did you do after that, Miss Faye? Uh, this one. Was it really necessary to have two people do something as simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm. Yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I, myself, was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, madam? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of that sentence. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. But not that much. <laughs> there was another reason you wanted both of us out of that room, wasn't there? You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. <sighs> the lives of both the good sir and that camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. That's horseshit. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. Now people have a good impression of her and a bad one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Also, Phoenix, wake up. <sighs> That's enough. From what I can tell, there is nothing wrong with this witness's testimony. 
Besides the multiple she... things that seem weirdly wrong with this. Yeah. <laughs> and from what she has said, we can establish that Maya Faye did leave the chamber. But then why did she come no back? Name. Yeah. I hope this isn't going to come back and bite us in the butt. Now, let's take the next logical step and ask, where did the defendant go after leaving the channeling chamber? Yes, yes. That is exactly what we... Be quiet, you. Now then, what the escapee had done was she had gone to speak with a certain person. She... She went to speak with someone. Uh, who was it? The prosecution calls Miss Eeny Miney, who was sleeping in the side room at the time. E Eeny Miney? I think you can see where this is headed. Yes. Yes. To my sixth straight victory. <laughs> <laughs> Witness, name and occupation. Um, okay, so my name is like Eeny Miney. I'm like researching like parapsychology stuff at the um university. What is this parapsychology? Um, let's see. It's like, I guess. Most people call it occult stuff. Even if that's what most people call it, I can't say I understand what that means. What the fuck? Then I suggest you go home and research it yourself. Yes, sir. Now then, Miss Miney. After the murder took place, you spoke with the defendant, Maya Fay. Is this correct? Um, well... Hmm, if that's the case, then let's hear your testimony. That is all right, isn't it, Your Honor? Yes, sir! For the love of all things good, Your Honor, have some spine! <laughs> for my sake! Stop being a giant bitch! Uh, have some bone in your panties, Your Honor! God, fuck off! <laughs> like when the channeling started I was like sleeping in the side room like a little later someone came into the room like really suddenly she's actually very cute in this picture I mean I think oh, it was like cute. it was like Oh my god, totally my sister. <laughs> I like hadn't seen her in like so long. I was like, I was happy in like a sad way. My sister, she like told me something like totally terrible. Now hold your horses, young lady. You're saying the person that entered was your sister? Don't you mean the defendant, Maya Faye? I clearly haven't been paying attention this whole time. Mm -hmm. Really, now, Your Honor. Maya Faye was still in the middle of channeling at that time. Are you saying that the spirit was the spirit of this witness's sister's oh, spirit? Fuck off, Judge. Yes, Mimi Miney. She was a nurse at, at Dr. Gray's clinic. Oh, well, this is... Witness. Like, yeah? In your testimony, you mentioned a terrible thing. Why don't you tell the court what this terrible thing was? I'm sure we'd love to hear about it. Um, like, do I totally, like, really have to? Mimi Miney told Eenie about chemtrails. She came back from the dead to warn her about chemtrails. 
<laughs> Jesus. All those things. She came. Pl- she- Sister, I must tell you something. All those things from planes are chemtrails. <laughs> She came back to tell her to invest in Dogecoin before it was too late. That's not how that works, though. <laughs> how would a dead person tell you about the future of Dogecoin? Well, listen, I mean, maybe Mimi Miney is not my, not smarter than her sister. <laughs> of course. The, chemtra- the chemtrails are turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Miss Miney, please. <laughs> My sister? Like, this is what she said to me. That was no accident. I was drugged with sleeping pills. This is my ghost voice. Ooh, I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? All right, so haven't we established that Meanie was the killer and not Maya, so we still win the case? Yeah. yeah. She took her revenge? Are you sure that's what she said? No, she said that chemtrails are turning the frogs gay. <laughs> well, she had that bit at the end. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I did it for my revenge. Also, chemtrails are turning the frogs gay. <laughs> y- yes. There. Are you satisfied, Your Honor? Not in the no. fucking latest. <laughs> no! This is bullsh- No! Ghosts aren't real! <laughs> I can't believe that a spirit would go so far as to use a medium to get revenge! That's what you're confused about! Yeah, really? I can't believe somebody would be hard. so angry they would use someone else's body to kill someone. Especially this since is... they can't get punished for it, so it's literally a free crime! It's crime. <laughs> Dang it. Be dead, do crimes. Be dead, do crimes. <laughs> it is a bit hard to swallow. However, all the evidence and testimonies point to this as the truth. It'd be a shame if some of those testimonies weren't true. <laughs> the end. What if the game just went the end? <laughs> Oh, and shit. that's it, everyone. That's the conclusion of Phoenix Wright: Justice for All. God damn the it. game just ends. The game just ends randomly in the middle of case two. Night, everyone. Uh, Solomatola donates six dollars and sixty-nine cents. Nice. Saying <laughs> nice. bonus panties are gonna live in my head rent-free from now on. Also, cheers to y'all. Thanks to Wes for being a lesbian ally and giving Francisca a sexy voice. <laughs> <laughs> my friggin' pleasure. <laughs> What do you think, Mr. Wright? It certainly seems like all the loose ends are accounted for. This... This it's testimony bull just crap. Happened. Was it all made up? Was it just one huge lie? Of course it was, Phoenix. Yeah, I know Mia. Mia? Also, I can read minds. Mia, what do you mean? It's well constructed, but that's all it is. But even the most well spun lies can be undone. This one's tangled like your old iPod. Oh, shit. We can do it, Phoenix. Let's find that one loose thread and unwind this tapestry of lies. Tapestry of lies? Your Honor, there is room for doubt, so the defense will cross examine this witness. We believe that our cross examination will reveal the real truth behind this murder. Yet again, the foolish fool spouts out more foolishly foolish drabble. I wonder if he'll make this one more entertaining than the last. Okay. Uh. Oh, right, okay. Uh, how many statements total we got here? Uh, one. 
two, three, four, five. And that's it. So five. Yeah. Oh, you, you, they, they don't. They don't. You. They don't. They don't let you do like a sex tape where she tells you what you actually said. Uh, no, which is very weird. Huh. Okay. I know there has to be something I can use here. But where? She really put a lot of thought into this lie, didn't she? I mean, I fucking. It's almost so. like she. Ki it's almost like she killed somebody and doesn't want to get caught. Yeah. We can't rush this. Let's take it slowly, one step at a time. She's bound to slip up somewhere. Uh, Probably everywhere. <clears throat> don't give up, but don't get careless, okay? Remember, calm and collected. Don't give up. Trust your instincts. Never give up. Never surrender. Just go press crazy. Yeah. Go press crazy. We're going press crazy. <laughs> <laughs> was that because of your um, sesame allergy, was it? Like, that's right. I, like, think there were sesame seeds, like, in the lunch they served that day. I had this, like, premonition that it was going to, that it was that it was going to totally be a seedy day. Yes, indeed. What a mm, well, pointless place I for see. Francis to go, yes, indeed. <laughs> Am I the only one who missed the boat here? Anyway, so you were taking a nap. Did something happen while you were sleeping? Do you know the time? Like, it's 2.30, I think. It's time to get ill. Oh, damn it. Okay, she made the joke for me. Um... Uh... Like, maybe a little before 11 a.m.? Something like that, I think. 11 a.m.? Yeah, like, my stomach is totally ready for, like, food. Uh, no, I, I think you misunderstood me. I'm, I'm not asking what time it is now. I mean, what time was it when the someone came into your room? Uh, oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Eenie, stop wasting your goddamn time. No, I'm gonna grift on this one. Phoenix should realize that Eenie's an idiot, and he needs to ask very specific questions. Uh, sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... <laughs> That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like... What was uh, I talking about again? <laughs> this is the most pointless press ever. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Witness, about this person who entered the side room. All right, so we learned nothing from that, and it yep. just wasted yep. everyone's time. Yep. Thank you, game. Are you absolutely sure? <clears throat> I guess. You guess. Was it or was it not your sister who entered? Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I totally don't know your sister at all, Mr. Smith. I'm going to fucking murder you. <laughs> And then we can have my trial. First off, my name is not Mr. Smith. Second, I'm an only child. <laughs> hmm. Got her. But more than that, she managed to mess up the question with her answer. Well, Mr. Wright? The, the defense rests. Well, that was a colossal waste of our time. Yeah, I know. I agree. <laughs> now then, witness, how did you feel when you saw Miss Mimi mining? Red Balloon 12 just got here, and oh man, welcome. You're you're in for some great bits. Yeah. <sighs> you were happy in a sad way? Yeah, like, I mean, it was my sister. But wouldn't most people react with surprise at seeing a dead loved one again, alive again? Um, but like... Maybe if I was, like, someone who didn't know about, like, the occult. But I, like, know all about the Korean channeling technique. 
Okay. The point here is the witness immediately recognized that it was her sister. Yeah, like what she said. Haha, <laughs> get it? Hmm. Uh, Should I drop this line of questioning? Phoenix, have you? has it ever been a good idea to drop this line of questioning? No. So then I guess we'll question further. So you didn't really think anything strange of the whole encounter? No. Like, there wasn't any reason for me to, like, think anything was strange. But... Yo! Don't keep badgering her! You know the phrase, objection? Could you try using it once in a while? <laughs> Mr. Wright? Nice. This question of what the witness felt when she saw her sister, is it really that important? No, well, it's not. It is very important. Also, we're, this, we're not going to be able to really talk about this stuff until the fifth game, so... Yeah, I was going to say, this does feel like uh, Athena shit. Feelings aren't... Feen, feelings aren't important yet. Okay, it is very important. Although I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. But I've got a bluff for now. Make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. All right. Mr. Wright. Miss Miney, please amend your... Please amend your testimony. Like... Okay. I'm, like, totally cool with that. Uh, also, JRTRCT has fallen. Thank you very much. I okay, wasn't, I... like, scared at all. And, like, her costume looked totally, like, normal. Okay, so, okay, that, that that's just giving it away. Object uh, objection. Obviously, for, obviously for some of the, the fact that the, co the clothes were, you know, covered, covered in blood. Make uh, sure it's this one. No, 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 no. Dude, the actual clothes, though, right? I think either works. Mm. And we, have the actual, we have the actual bloody clothes. You're right, because the, the picture was technically taken... Well, no, the picture was taken before she would have gone to do this, assuming this testimony yes. is correct. Yes. It could be either. Uh, we'll try it. Okay, picture works. All right. That was a very well-spun lie, Miss Eeny. <clears throat> what are you babbling about this time, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It's well-constructed, but... That's all it is. Hey, you're just stealing. Okay, yeah, wow. Just, Steal yeah, my line, why yeah, don't you? It's just like, you fucking piece of shit. I just, I'm standing next to you and I just made that comment. The, the judge Whoa, is like, she says it. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish the judge were like, wow, that was so cool. <laughs> I can't believe you just came up with that right off the cuff. <sighs> Dang, you know what? Not guilty. I just... Stealing my lines now, are we, Phoenix? Man, I stole your law firm. Damn. Oh. Miss Miney, may I remind you of what you said? You said that there was nothing strange about your sister's appearance. Like, yeah, and? But I don't think you really thought thought that at all. Take a look at this picture. Oh, uh, you almost said it. Damn it. So close. This is picture, a picture which is also known as a photograph. <laughs> This is the picture of the sister you met. I would think that even you would be surprised if someone like this appeared before you. It's a blood spray. Miss Mine, why did you not include the blood you saw in your testimony? If, it, if you were really testifying and not lying, you would have noted it right off the bat. Uh, um... Order! Order! Miss Mighty, what is the meaning of this? My hat is like really yummy. <laughs> Miss Mighty! I'm thinking! Don't interrupt me! That was Ooh, really good. We had to see, yeah, Addition. we had to see angry. We had to see angry, Eeny. But just for like a few frames, that was cool. Right? Uh, Hoogie One can only cheer to 100 bits saying, Arrest Phoenix Wright and put him on trial for arson because he just burned Mia by using her own sentence. <laughs> Yeah. And what are you stammering about, Your Honor? Uh, uh, well, I, I, 
uh... That witness. Her personality did a complete 180 there. Lots of people do that when they get on the stand, though. I mean, when they're lying. Oh, really? I'm not a lawyer, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> First of all, calm yourself down, witness. Like, I'm sorry. I, like, didn't mean to snap. <laughs> now, hurry up with the testimony. If you please. Ugh. The judge still looks a little shaken up. A lot of help he's going to be. I mean, has he ever been helped, Phoenix? <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> uh, Violet Vita cheers another hundred bits saying, Man, Bakugo must be jealous of Phoenix and Francisca for how much they sweat. He should be a lawyer, not a pro hero. It'll be great with his quirk. <laughs> Man, what a... You know, we, we do a lot nice of crossover jokes. Reference. Yeah, we do a lot of crossover jokes with animes. I did not expect us to get a My Hero reference on this one. Yeah. The explosion murder. <laughs> like, the side room was, like, kind of dark, you know? So, like, the costume is, like, purple, right? The blood totally blended right in. And I, like, persuaded my sister it wasn't, like, right to do something like that. And then, like, I took my sister to the channeling chamber. What? But that doesn't... What was any of that? Yeah, that doesn't prove that... Okay. Hmm, yes, now I see. No, and you also have to walk out onto the winding way, which is full sunlight. You would notice was the blood. Was blind, but now I see. And you have given us a clear reason for why you didn't notice the blood. This Bravo! This is a real line of dialogue in this game, huh? <laughs> you think? Like, thanks, Gramps. Are you satisfied, Mr. Wright? No. Oh. You big buzzkill? All right, I guess not. Very well. You may question the witness. <sighs> After the murder, part two. Oh, shit. Picking up the pace. Uh, kind of I mean, all four, all four statements were stupid as shit. Yeah. So press all of them. Also, it's not dark. <laughs> really? Because I thought it was pretty bright inside that room. Don't push your subjective opinions onto this court. Oh, fuck off, Francisco. A karma was literally daylight. Like that's right. Um, excuse me, but how is my statement any more subjective than Miss Miney's? You are such a hopeless cause. Witness, you may feel free to ignore this trite little man. I'm not trying. Uh, you, actually, you actually can't because oh, I'm cross-examining you in a court of law, so <laughs> you can't ignore Francis me. Francisco, you can't say that. That's for the next guy to say. <laughs> Dan Gaming Pen cheers five bits and says, That was complete pig shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the beepers cheers ten bits saying, Blood blend... Blood blending into a purple cloak. What is this, dang and Rampa? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! And then Hogimon Canoli opens up the conversation. Is Mon Karma a top or a bottom? We're not doing this right now. <laughs> we'll be here all night. Like, okay. Ugh! Can't breathe. Let me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just let her get away with that completely blatant lie. Yep, sure did. Uh, I mean, <laughs> keep pressing. You didn't see the blood. Like, yeah. But she must have had the gun with her at that time as well. That's, um... Are you going to tell me next that you didn't notice the gun either? I, like, totally didn't. All I was looking at was, like, her face. Hmm. Continue. Continue? Continue? <laughs> we both went for right. it. Of course. Uh, same brain cell. Did they mention that the things had pockets, or was that our own joke? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, so Amatula donated a dollar and three cents. Sorry, I just want to make the donation total end in 69. You're $19 away from 420.69 though now, so nice. 
Thank you. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's really good. <clears throat> uh, and what was your sister, Miss Mimi Miney, like at the time? Well, she was like totally flipped out because she just shot Dr. Gray. But I think like she knew. She like she said she, she like said she did something really bad. And like she said she wanted to go with me to like the afterlife so that's when she <laughs> shot me and then i joined her and now i'm a ghost too this is all, you're all i'm a ghost like plot twist <laughs> and now that i and now that i know i can go to the other side this court case has been directed by m night Shyamalan. oh shit cue up the in the arms of the angel and, like, she said she wanted to go with me to, like, apologize to Miss Morgan. Did Mimi's spirit really say all that to you? <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Was your sister calm by that time? Like, I guess so i guess maybe like taking her revenge on dr gray like made her feel a lot better i'd like to feel a lot better too mr phoenix right the sooner the better she says with her whip at the ready and like miss morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber you know May I ask you one more thing, Miss Miney? Like, sure. Where the fuck did you go? Because when we came back in the room, you weren't there. Also, how did your dead sister know where you were? Was there anything you found strange, unusual, or just out of place? Something out of place? Huh? Like, what do you mean? Uh when uh when you oh it's gonna be one of these things uh, uh, i would say arrived at the crime scene uh like it could be going oh, to the yeah. crime scene or arriving at the crime scene i i think going to because the pot thing I mean, if you're gonna be yeah it's either gonna be like did you notice the urn or anything in the furnace or Arrive at the crime scene and then finding like, did you find Morgan unconscious there? Morgan, but go with going yeah. to the crime scene. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, arrive at the if we get it wrong. No, go 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 with the middle one first. Go with the middle one. Uh, if but... we're wrong, we get more dialogue. <laughs> yeah. I, like that. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm talking about when you were going to the channeling chamber. Of course. Oh shit, he said it. Duh. Um, like no. Nothing strange. She answered rather quickly. Now what? I mean... The game really needs to stop giving you this option when it's, like, yeah. obvious 99% of the time. Think harder. I know you can remember something. If she thinks any harder, she's literally going to have an aneurysm. I, like, totally can't. That's not good enough. You have to explain yourself clearly to this court. Hmm. Do you think, Mr. Wright, that whether or not there was something odd on the way to the channeling chamber oh. is all that yes. important? Yeah, no. Jesus, these are so many unnecessary dual options. I ask because it is very important. Not that I know where I'm going with this. Yes, you do, you dumbo. Very well. Miss Miney, if you will, please include a statement about this in your testimony. Like, I don't get why, but okay. I, like, didn't see anyone on the way to, like, the channeling chamber. I mean... Oh, she would have seen Pearl playing yeah, with Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, you present Pearl's profile here. She's playing with it at the time of the murder, it seems. Oh, it's not it. Uh, no, I, 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 well, oh, right, I, I said, 
Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, present I forget, her profile. I forgot that we can do that in this game. Profiles. Girl. Yep, you're right. There we go. <laughs> ah, listen, gotcha. to your, listen to your attorney, Zach. <laughs> you're right, Screw. I'm sorry, Fridge. You're not representing yourself, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> However, that is impossible. Like, what do you mean? I'd like to introduce someone to you. Someone to you. It's this. my fist to your face. <laughs> this is Miss Morgan Fay's daughter, Pearl Fay. Interesting. You have a semi-intelligent look on your face. So, what about this child? It just so happens that at the time of the murder, Pearl was playing in the center garden. The garden? Of yep. madness. <laughs> yep. Oh, good reference, Fridge. Thank you. Uh, which means anyone walking through the area would have had to have seen her. So, Miss Miney, what do you have to say to that? Whoa! That was a weird one. Yeah, it's like yeah, a I like, I a like that one. Really good. It's a very stretchy hat. Mm -hmm. As the court can see, she's a bit of an airhead. Also, she was leading her sister at that time. Do you honestly think she would have noticed a simple child playing? Preposterous. It's not preposterous, and I can prove it. What sort of foolish... There is no... Oh, excuse me. There is no way someone walking in the winding way could not have noticed Pearl. That's going to be the urn, right? The urn. That's what I would think. Yeah, it was because she was fixing it. Yeah, under oh, repair yeah. in she the was, hallway until right police in the came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, under repair in the hallway until police came means that she had to have been there. This urn is my proof. An old cracked clay pot? What is this going to prove? Easy. It proves that Mystic Ami escaped, which means none of this is any point because the universe is doomed. It means, it it means that none of us are safe. It means, it means Ami and... It means the blood war will finally begin. <laughs> Once Ami and Mike Meegan's clash, everything ends. So there's no point us even doing this trial. Uh, Phoenix just breaks down <laughs> to pure nihilism. They also, know. here's 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 my new head cannon. Pearl broke the the urn, and then all of a sudden, a, a piercing boo came out, and it was actually Boo Guy that was in there the whole was time. Trapped in the urn. <laughs> Yeah, he was trapped in the urn and finally escaped after 10,000 years, of course. <laughs> then what's the, who's been the boo guy who's been with us all this time? That's... That's the mystery. That's, it's, it's part of the, the boo guy paradox <laughs> okay. that Meekins created. Okay, sure. Do you know why it's cracked? It's because Pearl broke it, that's why. She broke the urn? Wow, wow. Yeah! You wouldn't tell anyone. Why? Why do I feel like you're about to ruin my beautiful day? Uh, that's my job, sweetheart. <laughs> this urn was broken around the time the channeling started. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. And Pearl was the only. And Pearl was the one who put it back together. Badly. While sitting right in the middle of the winding way. What? Uh, also, Claw the Claw just donated ni exactly nineteen dollars, which does put us at exactly four hundred and twenty and sixty-nine dollars. Nice. nice. And. Uh...